poet Rainer Maria Rilke, in his letters to a young poet, says this. I want to beg you as much as you can to be patient with all that is in your heart and try to love the questions themselves. Do not seek now answers which cannot be given you because you would not be able to live them. And the point is to live everything. Live the question now. Perhaps you will then gradually, without realising it, live along some distant way into the answer. Take whatever comes with great trust. Most of us have never experienced anything like what's happening in the world at the moment, and we're afraid. And it's entirely natural that we are fearful but we need not allow that fear to dictate our behaviour, particularly about how we react and respond to one another. Many are feeling claustrophobic as they cluster around all day together with other family members and physical space could be limited and that added to the fear can bring out some tensions all round. Emotions run high and sometimes they boil over. We might say or do things that we regret later. We might hurt others by our responses or our lack of response. We may be so caught up in our own concern that we fail to see the desperation in the face of someone we love. We see disaster everywhere and we feel completely out of control. Those living alone could disappear into depression and those who have lost jobs be tempted to despair and to retreat in the same way. And there will be others of us who will yearn to see the golden opportunity that hides itself somewhere in the midst of this global tragedy. What is this opportunity? I believe that God is recreating a world that's gone horribly wrong. Gently try to be alert and present to yourself and to others. Listen, ponder, Meditate, pray, and wait. God is revealing himself. What might God be wanting us to see, to hear, to learn? Wonder and wait. As Rilke says, be patient with all that is in your heart and try to love the questions themselves and take whatever comes with great trust. <laughs>